And here's our third exercise. I want you to get all the published courses that are $15 or more or have the word buy in their title. So I'll spend a few minutes and then come back and watch my solution. All right, let's get started. So a new file, I'm gonna call this solution three. And again, to save time, I'm gonna to go to our previous solution, copy all the code and paste it here. Now I wanna get all the published courses that are $15 or more or have the word buy in their title. So our first criteria should stay as is. We wanna get only the published courses. Now here we need the or method because we wanna get courses that are $15 or more or have the word buy in their title. So we just need to modify our filtering objects here, okay? So let's delete these two objects. First, we wanna get courses that are $15 or more. So we set price. Now, I cannot set this to 15 because this will return only the courses that are $15. As I told you before, with a simple value, we cannot express a concept like $15 or more. So we need to replace this with an object. In this object, we have key value pairs. Our keys are MongoDB operators. So we use GTE, which is short for greater than or equal to. And we set this to 15. So with this, we get all the courses that are $15 or more. Now, our second filter. We wanna get the courses that have the word buy in their title. So another object, we set name. Again, I cannot set this to buy because this will return courses whose title is exactly buy. So we should replace this string with a regular expression. So remember, slash pattern slash. Now, we wanna have the word buy anywhere in the title. So we can have zero or more characters before or after buy. So in regular expressions, we use period to represent a character and we use a star to represent zero or more. Now here we have buy and then again, we repeat period star. So zero more characters before or after. And also I wanna make sure that our search is case insensitive. So we need to put an I at the end. Now let's run the application. So node solution3.js. So we should get four courses. The first three courses, you can see their price is greater than or equal to $15. So here we have a $20 course, a $15 course, and another $15 course. But the last course is not $15. However, here we have the word buy in the name of this course. 